Next up tonight, we've got a special guest from Knoxville, Tennessee. That's in another area. That's in another time zone. He's come a long way to talk to us tonight. Are you guys happy about that? Yeah. Victor Turnigan is the president and founder of Knox Real Estate Investors Association, otherwise known as Knox Rea. And Victor will cause you to think a little bit differently. Victor's very smart. He's got a lot of diverse background. I'm sure you read about it in the newsletter. That's why you're here to hear it. So if you will, please give a warm welcome to Mr. Victor Jernigan. Um, I really appreciate everybody staying. Um, the topic, as you can see, uh, the truth about real estate investing, and what, we, what I want to do is to share information that helps you think in a different perspective. The information that Jeremy provided earlier was great information. I hope everybody was here and took notes about the things that Jeremy was saying because I'm going to be talking about almost exactly the same thing he said, but from the mirror image of what he said. So uh, there is no sales pitch of any kind. This is purely informational. It's very casual. Very, if you need to get up and go, you need to leave before I get finished, please, I understand it's not a problem. Uh, there is no organized presentation other than the fact that I'm following a PowerPoint presentation. So if you've got a question you want to interrupt, I'm happy to take questions anytime on any topic. So what we want to do now is get into the uh, open discussion about these truths of investing. Um, I've tried to cover the top five, and we'll make every effort to get through all of these tonight. Um, true but not the truth is a myth. And the reason that I say this, my grandfather had that saying when I was growing up. He would say people would always say things that are true, but they're not really the truth. And he would call those adult myths. So um, I think this covers the top five. Comps, uh, Jeremy talked about that. Profits, when and how you make a profit, he talked about that. Planning, I think he touched on that. Team building, I don't know if you mentioned that, but that's part of, does everybody agree that you've heard that many times? You must build a team, you gotta have a team to be successful, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, your passion, your motivation, your big why. Every, you know, everybody's heard that, right? Okay, so let's get started with why I think these things are myths. And we'll start with a self-examination. And this is a self-qualifier. Everybody can take this test mentally because there are five essential characteristics that every single successful real estate investor must have. And you must have all five of them. You can have them in different quantities, but you must have all five. Jeremy specifically mentioned three of them. And I'm sure many people have heard, no money, no job, and no credit. Those are not three characteristics of successful investors, but I didn't want to mention that. So, the only five characteristics that you must have is you must be able to pay attention. You must have exceptionally strong curiosity about those things upon which you are paying attention. You need the ability to ask strangers questions, and you need to absolutely listen to what they say. And the fifth, the most important, the opposable thumb which separates everybody in this room when we look at exactly the same piece of property is the ability to determine your own risk tolerance. And your risk tolerance, your risk tolerance, is different than mine, different than uh, Gary Jernigan, wherever he is, different than Dan from uh, Clarksville, different than Jeremy sitting on the front seat. So risk tolerance is the amount of time you will sacrifice and the capital you will put at risk in any transaction. So, I know this is absolutely true because those are the only five characteristics that I possess. I cannot use a hammer. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. It's hard for me to do four function math without a calculator. 